Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Google search and more specifically, I'm going to show you how to do a reverse image search on your iPhone or iPad using Google Chrome. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're watching this video, you probably found out that Safari does not support Google image search on their browser. I did another video that showed you a workaround in order to use Safari for a reverse Google image search. Check my video description. I'll try to leave a link there. But on this video, we're going to talk about how to use it on your iPhone or iPad using Chrome. So what is a Google image search? Well, basically it's a popular feature on Google to help avoid catfishing and scams. So if you're talking to a girl on a dating website and she sends you a picture that seems unrealistic, you can upload one of her pictures onto Google images and then you can cross check that with any kind of scams that might be floating around with their picture. It's also a popular feature if you're trying to figure out what something is. For example, if you saw a strange looking bug in your house, just take a picture of it and you can upload it onto Google image search. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Google Chrome app. If you don't have this app already, you will need to download it in the App Store. This is not pre-installed on your iPhone. It is a free app. Check my video description. I'll try to leave a referral link there. I'm going to go ahead and open the Google Chrome app now. Okay, so I went ahead and opened up my Google Chrome app. This is the search browser. Next, I went ahead and went to google.com because that's where this is going to happen. Next, once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on images right here on the top. I'm going to click there now. All right, so I went ahead and clicked on images. And as you can see, there's no place to upload the images into Google to do a reverse image search. So what you need to do is click on these three little dots here on the bottom right. It's gonna open up a drop down menu. I'm gonna click there now. All right, once you're here, what you wanna do is scroll down until you get to this section called Request Desktop Site. I'm gonna click there now. All right, so that now brings up the desktop site instead of the mobile version. And that way you can zoom in and you see the camera function right there. I'm gonna click there now. All right, so once you're here, then you can go ahead and upload an image by clicking on this line right here. I'm going to click there. Next, you can choose a file. I'm going to choose a file now. Next, this pop-up happens. So you can either take a photo of the person who's trying to catfish you, or you can go ahead and search through your photo library if they've already sent you a photo. I'm going to go ahead and click on photo library. Okay, so I went ahead and chose a picture out of my photo library. Now it's going to take a moment for it to upload onto Google's servers. All right, so I went ahead and uploaded it and then Google came back with an incorrect search and that's just because the picture wasn't really high quality. So if you want to get good results, be sure to take a good picture and make sure that person sends you a nice clear picture and it's going to pull up any kind of search results that they think might be related to the image that you install. So there you have it. That is how you can do a reverse Google image search on your iPhone or iPad using the Chrome app from Google. If you happen to know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below and let the rest of us know how you did it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.